welcome back to the vlog and happy 2018 when is it actually appropriate to stop saying that because it's like almost halfway through January I, is it at the end of January I'm not sure um, but anyway happy 2018 hope that y'all had an absolutely awesome new year um, I know that I for one am super excited for 2018 um, there's so much that I just know that God is gonna be doing that I'm super excited for so I hope that y'all are just as excited as I am um, anyway let me stop stalling and let me get to what this video is actually about so I haven't posted a TTC video in a while I bet you all have noticed well <laughs> Today I want to talk to you all about, well, what's next? <laughs> Um, like I said, I don't remember the last time that I actually posted a TTC video. It was probably sometime around right after pregnancy and infant loss awareness month so it's probably been a couple months at least that I haven't posted a TTC vlog um, I posted plenty of other vlogs so I hope that y'all have seen those I hope that y'all enjoyed those while you were waiting for me to give y'all an update and I hope that you will still take a look at those I'm not just a TTC vlog I'm also food faith and family so um, anyway back at the ranch um, I haven't posted a TTC update in a while honestly I've just been kind of getting myself together like getting my thought process together a lot of the time when you've been trying to get pregnant for a while or you know waiting to get pregnant for a while you can get kind of you can get kind of lost in it and I don't want to be lost in it I don't want to become like obsessed with trying to conceive honestly you know this is something that I want deep down within my heart like it is one of my deepest desires but I don't want it to overcome me because I'm still living, I'm still married, I'm still living in this beautiful apartment, there's so much that God is still doing in my life and I don't want to become so blinded by what I don't have that I don't realize what I do have. So um, the past few months have just been about me kind of trying to work on making sure that I'm being grateful to God, making sure that I'm still living my life to the fullest because when my child does come, you know, that's what my next stage of life is. But right now, that's not where I am, obviously, because it's not time yet, you know? So at this point, I'm just focused on living my life to the fullest, enjoying my marriage, enjoying my husband, enjoying everything else that God is doing in my life. I got a, uh, my job at the aquarium. I just became permanent. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Um, you know, there's just so much that God is doing in my life. And I think for a while, I was so focused on you know the fact that even though God gave me all this he didn't give me a child I was so focused on like I said before what I didn't have instead of what I did have that I kinda lost sight of you know yeah I understand that you're praying for this but look at everything else that God gave you so I think that that is something that happens when you're trying to conceive and it's something that you have to work really hard to kind of avoid you have to make sure that you're you know being grateful just for the life that you give it because if you don't have a child yet then it's just because it's not time so what are you going to do in the meantime pout and and be upset and be like why god and, and just be really mad at him when you could really just kind of you know try to prepare yourself and get yourself ready for that next stage of life while enjoying the stage of life that you're living a lot of the time it's not about how long you wait but it's about how well you wait and I hadn't been waiting very well. I have been kind of, eh. <laughs> so I had to take a few months, regroup, regroup myself, regroup, <laughs> get myself back together, get myself back aligned with God, um, and just really focus on being grateful and focus on being content with where God has me. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm complacent. That doesn't mean that I have decided to give up having a child that doesn't mean that I've decided to give up you know preparing myself for a child no if anything the start of the new year has me more faithful than ever that this is our year but I'm also more determined than ever to enjoy every day of the journey trying to conceive is not a it's not a trial to me it's a journey it's my journey to having my John baby it's my journey to having my miracle baby and I'm not just going to enjoy the journey once I get pregnant, but I'm going to enjoy it every day up until then. Because then it's like, what have I been living for all this time? You know? So, 
this year 2018 is not only about the countdown to Hester baby but it's also about living every single day like the gift that it is it's about showing God how grateful I am for every step in the journey and every step on the way 2018 is about more than just being sad that I don't have a child or sad that I lost my child but it's about being happy and overjoyed and full of faith that this is our year but also knowing that even if it's not I'm still gonna be okay God is still gonna be the king of my life he's still gonna be good even though he didn't give me what I wanted because God's promises I don't know if y'all remember that video that I made about God's promises. God's promises are yes and amen. And I know that he's promised it, but he didn't promise it by a certain time. So I'm going to do my best to remain patient and to just kind of wait on him, you know? So um, I'm sorry if that's not a good enough answer for y'all. I'm sorry if you don't agree, but at this point in my life, I just need to make sure that I am leaning on God and not on what I think should happen, not on how I think things should go, not on myself. Lean not on my own understanding, but I need to, in all my ways, acknowledge God so that He can direct my path. Now, like I said, I do believe with all my heart that this is our year. I believe it because it was prophesied to us. I believe it because of God's promises being yes and amen. So I'm going to make sure that 2018 is also about preparing myself for my miracle baby. I'm going to make sure that 2017 is about doing all of the research, doing, doing a bunch of praying and doing a bunch of walking in faith and just believing that God will do what he said that he would do. But also knowing and understanding that he's going to do it in his timing and not in mine. So for those of you that are entering into 2018 that are still waiting and praying for that child that you've been asking God for for who knows how long, I encourage you, keep the faith. Keep holding on. He is an on-time God. Yes, He is. And He may not come when you want Him to. He may not have came last year. He may not have came the year before. He may still not have come, but he will always be on time. And everything that he does, he does it for a reason and he does it for your good. Because I'll tell you one thing, for each of us that are walking on this journey, when our children are finally born, we are going to be so grateful to God for them. So, don't lose the faith, don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. And that's, um, that's your word for today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, um, I, like I said, I really hope that y'all understand, honestly, if you don't, hubby and, I, hubby and I, we're just kind of going with the flow, you know, I'm not super, becoming super obsessed with it. I am, you know, still making sure that, you know, we're doing what we need to do for it to happen, of course, but I'm not freaking out anymore. And, you know, I'm excited for everything that God is going to do in 2018. So there's still, you know, baby things to be bought. There's still doctor's visits to make. And I'm just kind of going with what God tells me to do. So, you know, whatever God leads us to do on this year, I am determined to do it. And to do it in His timing and not in my own. So, I hope that you all will continue to follow me on my journey. I hope that we're able to continue to encourage and support each other on our journeys. And I hope that all of you will receive your miracle children in God's timing. But anyway, like I said, um, I hope that y'all continue to follow me on my journey. I hope that y'all will click that subscribe button and click that bell button and continue to wait for me to post new video updates. Um, like I said, look at some of my other videos, Food, Faith, and Family. I'm going to try to be um, still posting TTC updates. Um, I'm not sure what the subject of them is going to be because it kind of depends on where I am at that time. You know, if God leads us to go to the doctor again and get some more tests done, we'll do that. And, you know, hopefully update you guys along the way. If God leads us to do something else, like I said, we'll hopefully keep y'all updated. Or, you know, if there's no need for another TTC update because it's time for our pregnancy update, hopefully we'll keep y'all along on that track as well. But 
it's going to be hard for you to know if you're not subscribed and if you haven't hit that bell button. So make sure that y'all hit it. Hit it right now before you forget. Okay? This is, this is your stretch of time for you to go ahead and, and click the button. Okay! So, like I said, it was so great talking to y'all. Also, make sure that you smash that like button. Um, the like goal for this video is going to be at least 200. So make sure that you get to liking and get to sharing with others who can also like. Um, mommies and daddies in waiting, I, I hope the best for y'all. I hope God's will for all of you. And I hope that you all will just continue to trust and lean on God as we go along on this journey together. And Lord willing, I will see y'all next time.